Hello and welcome back to Spirited Heart. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Now, what do I want to train next? Shall we train up our wisdom a bit more? Hmm. Wisdom or social, I think. What does what? Do some more cleaning to boost our social a bit. Or yeah, let's go back to school to boost our wisdom. Dang it. Can't concentrate. Time off. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out when the goddess turns up. I think it's somewhere around the uh, age of 22. Go back. I want to relax for a week. I was going to relax for a couple of weeks, but that probably means tax time's coming, so let's spend some money. Boost my social a bit. Yep. Forty-five percent. Bloody hell! Random encounter. Hey, isn't that Freebo? Where's he going? He should be teaching right now. Hey, Freebo. Huh? Damn. Aren't you coming to class? Well, I would rather go for a walk. What do you think? It's a lovely day. But we have to go to the classroom. What? Are you afraid of not receiving the king's stipend for the education of its subjects? You'll still have it, even if nobody teaches you. That's true. I hardly ever check. I still should criticize his behavior. But aren't you ashamed? Of what? Of what you do? You're paid to teach and instead you go around doing whatever takes your fancy. Oh, boo-hoo. You're an idiot. I've already heard that from plenty of women, but it's usually after I touch them. Touched them? You mean... Fine. Do you want the truth? 99% of the people in that classroom don't want to learn anything. They only come to get the aid from the king. And then, once they return home, they forget everything they've learned. So tell me, what's the point? I... You're different from the others. You're that one rare person. So come inside and teach me. The 1% is really interested. Please? <sighs> okay. But only because you are so nicely. Thank you. He's really rough. But when he pays me compliments, I feel my heart beating faster. I'm sorry, he's all kinds of a dick. <laughs> so if I can boost my wisdom a decent amount, that'd be helpful. Losing a bit of stamina, but that's okay. Dang it. <laughs> Dang damn it. That's pesky varmint. No, I have no idea what the hell that was. <laughs> 36 wisdom, that's good. Damn it. Can't concentrate. Let's take some weeks off. And then let's do a week of shopping. Which boosts my social a bit more. Be the last job. Mm -hmm, that'll do. Random encounter. Professor Freebo? Oh, what do you want? Hey, how are you? I was doing well before I saw you. I know you're just joking. Anyway, there isn't any less today. What do you want? I, I wondered if you could teach me some magic secrets. <laughs> Don't tell me. You need a love potion. No? Why? Oh, what a pity. If you said yes, I could have said to you to a friend of mine who's a witch. Well, do you want to teach me something interesting? Yes or no? Do you know what the Philosopher's Stone is? The stone that transforms base metals like, like iron and copper into gold? Exactly. We're going to try something similar, but with different results. Do you have any gold coins? Uh, let's help to use his own money. Sorry, but why don't you use yours? What? Surely you have more money than I do. That's not a valid reason. Oh? If you're so confident and infallible, why don't you want to use your money? I... As a reason, that seems valid, doesn't it? Okay, let's try then. The experiment transforms his gold coins into silver. <laughs> now do you understand why I didn't want to use my own money? Are you making fun of me? Yup. Fine, you were right and my experiment was a failure. Do you have any money to buy me lunch? Of course I do, let's go. Congratulations, you've made your money worth less. That's something normally restricted to banking. <coughs> Burn.
Hey, hey, perfect. I don't know what it is, I'm getting a lot more political than usual on uh, these videos. A boring, boring day in school. Oh, the first day of Magical History 101 is not making a good first impression. The teacher's voice could put anyone to sleep. He's just reading straight from a book. Just ancient history about some magical artifact. The wizard spent ten days sealing the cave with protective spells and... Oh, how long is this anyway? Fifty pages?! Oh, I don't get paid enough for this. He yawns. Even the teacher's bored. I can barely keep my eyes open. I look around to see everyone else laying their head down on the desk. So maybe I can just rest my eyes and... Well, there is one girl who's at full attention. Some demon girl is furiously taking notes, almost hypnotized by the monotone reading. Suddenly, a hand shoots up to get the teacher's attention. She has to wave before Professor Freebo notices her. Put your hands down, no questions. The teacher tries to continue, but her arm doesn't lower, not even by an inch. He actively ignores her, but she stops bouncing up and down anxiously. Professor! Professor! What? You said that the wizards cast protective spells of the 8th tier, but then you said that the cave was invaded by harpies, which are obviously 6th tier monsters, so unless they're Scalcanamian harpies, which means that their winged talons were made them 7th tier, but even then, neither the type of harpy should have been able to breach the wizards' defences. Did she just say all that with a single breath? The whole classroom is at full attention, and we stare at the teacher for his response. He scowls. What's your name? Hater. Don't interrupt my lecture again. He returns to reading. Hate pouts without an answer to her question. The teacher only gets a few more lines down the page before our hand is in the air again. He claps the book shut and glares at her. What now? Fifty years, sir. What? He said that the evocation of the Great Golden Orb took thirty years, but it was most certainly it was fifty years. If the orb was the catalyst for the Great War of Eden, then it couldn't. He slams the history book on the desk and stands up. Since you know so much about the excavation, then you can teach my class. Uh, maybe this girl should just be quiet. But Hade immediately stands from her seat. The classroom snickers and murmurs. I think it's quite obvious that with all the boulder dash I've heard thus far. Have fun. Professor Freebo just walks right out the door. <laughs> he really just left his classroom. The demon girl walks up and stands at the front of the class, flipping through her notebook. She's really going to try and teach us? There are several amendments that must be made to all of your notes before I can continue, and I'll address what I have so that you can make the appropriate modifications. There were five wizards, not four. Three were female, two were male. It was not summer, it was spring. The cave was to the southeast of Triburg, not south. The royal decree was after its discovery, not before. The king's son was not born yet. The road to Fifal was not paved. Nine tier gigabytes broke the wizard's defense and not harpies. We all look at each other as she continues to list corrections out of context. This is worse than before. One by one, each student picks up their things and leaves. Hay just continues to read out corrections from her notepad. Everyone leaves until, finally, I'm the only person left. <sighs> Hade's voice trails off as she looks up at the mostly empty classroom. Let's try to cheer her up. Her eyes drift downward, like she's embarrassed by everyone leaving. Um, did you get everything? Should I start over? <sighs> yeah. There's a tremble in her voice, but she tries to hide it. I stand up and walk over to her. It, it's all right. Um. Hade was your name, right? It's mostly Freebo's fault that everyone left, not yours. Of course it's his fault, as he counted the golden orbs flawed in every conceivable way. That's not, um... She takes history very seriously. Maybe everything, for that matter. I, I didn't really know her, and I feared learning. Maybe you should speak less... complexly? Y you don't use basic words, and maybe instead of just reading off the fact, you could tell history of if it was a story? Everyone loves to hear stories. Head is staring off into space. Did you hear me? Stupendous. What? Me? She walks right past me, to a table against the wall, and picks up a rock? A quasintian undermantium cross current blue geode. She holds up a shiny rock to her face with her jaw dropped. It just looks like a rock to me. Wow, her mood changed so suddenly. But it's interesting to see her so happy about something. I wonder what else excites her. Extraordinary! The crystal count is unprecedented. I suppose I'm going to have to put up with her know-it-all attitude when I take this course. But I can see now that she's not all bad. And at least she tried to help, though. Maybe she just doesn't know how to act around people. What an odd girl. I sigh and leave her to her geode. 
that'll do. Hey, right, my wisdom's up past 45, which is where I wanted it to be. So let's have a look. Creativity could use a boost. I've got to say, this has one of the same problems as Long Live the Queen, in that when you're deciding what jobs you want to do, you can't see at the same time what all your uh, various abilities are. Yeah, you know, you've got to jump between different screens, which is a little bit annoying. Back to the tailor shop. You know, it's not a major problem, but it's 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 a little irritating. Forty-three percent. Really bleeding us dry, aren't they? Good morning, Madeline. Oh, hi, user. We exchange a few words, and then he enters the tailor's private office. After about an hour, he goes out again. From his face, he looks rather disappointed. Goodbye. Hang on, is everything okay? He stops on the threshold of the shop for an instant, and I can tell he's debating what to say. Everything's fine. Say goodbye. Oh, oh, Alright, if you say so. See you tomorrow, then. Yes, uh, at least I think so. He turns away sadly, and sighs before he leaves. I wonder what's wrong. Did he get into an argument with Satori? Loop. Need to take some time off. Three weeks at home with just me and me. Curiosity. So, yep. 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 So, yes, I've met everybody except for the head of the guards. And oh, what was that? Uh, it's going to bug me until I can remember it now. <laughs> Given that I married her in the last playthrough. <laughs> Probably should try and remember her name. Dang it. Yeah, still got a creative boost though. Damn it, stop going to friends' weddings. <laughs> All it ever does is reduce your skills. And I might need some of those skills later. I have no idea what the goddess is going to want from me. I see you as a arrive with an enormous cake. Today's Saratori's birthday. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I thought about giving him a surprise. Good idea. Do you want to come to the back office with me? Oh no, what if some customers arrive? Let's go, you can close up the shop for half an hour. No one comes around this time of day anyway, right? Uh, I'd better stay in the shop. No, I, I think it's better if I stay here. You never know. Alright. <laughs> you really are a good employee. Thanks. The celebration is shorter than expected. I see user come out of the back office, and he doesn't seem particularly happy. Bye. I get the impression that their friendship is a little shaky. Didn't he like the cake? Not really. Let me test that slice left over. Alright, here you are. What do you think? It's delicious. Oh no, do you make it? Oh, ah. Uh, Never reveal my secrets. Well, anyway, it's it's really good. Well done. Thank you. Can't imagine how pleased I am by what you said. He pats my head fondly before leaving. He's in a hurry, as always. Hey, perfect result. As I say, everything sort of is going up generally. Stop making your own bloody infusions. And stop cocking them up. <laughs> Wow, that was a massive loss of creativity. Which is the thing I'm trying to boost at the moment, damn it. Right. I want that one. Let's go shopping for a little bit. Which will boost my social as well. And let's go shopping again. Okay. And then let's go back to my tailor shop. Excellent. Uh-oh, there's something wrong today. I think someone's following me. Without warning, a group of thieves surround me, and they all want my money. I hand over 12 gold coins, everything I have with me at the moment. I might lose some money, but it's not worth my life. Well, there goes a decent chunk of my money. On the plus side, a little bit more creativity. I'm, I'm getting there. OK. 
Okay, that's good enough on that. So now, do, 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 what do I need to boost? Either charisma, stamina, or strength. Hmm. So I am going to go to back to building. I think do the least pay a good decent amount as well as boosting my strength. Okay. Excellent, good boost to strength. screwed on that one. Let's take three weeks off. As I maintain the goddess should be turning up soonish, I hope. I hope it's not a case of you need to actually uh, have one of the high-end jobs, but I wouldn't have thought so. Or if it is, that's a very annoying piece of game design. Lost some dexterity and some wisdom, but I gained quite a lot of morale, which is good. A loop. Strength still going up. Dang it. So yes, it's getting to the point where I think I've seen most of the uh scenes for the first tier jobs. Come on. Give me another boost to strength. Thank you. Uh, that was a bloody good week actually. Got paid. Health and uh, health and morale didn't go down. I got a big boost of strength. Alright. I'm just gonna quickly save it because I haven't saved it on this run yet. That seems like a reasonable opportunity to do it. Alright, so what do we got? Charisma, stamina, and concentration. Okay, let's do some stamina building. There's a masquerade festival in town today. I don't really know the traditions of the town too well, but it sounds like fun. Buying a costume's probably expensive though. Let's participate. I spent 38 gold coins to buy a costume. It's not cheap, but I make a great impression on everyone there. My reputation and decorum have increased. That was a fairly hefty chunk of my money, I've got to say. Hey, perfect. Stamina going up some more, but I think I'm going to take a few weeks off. There we go, that's good. Uh oh, there's something wrong today. I think someone's following me. Damn it, I'm getting robbed again. <laughs> that's twice in about, what, five or six weeks? Well, it's probably more than that, but... doesn't feel like very long since I last got robbed. Hey. Random encounter. Hi. Hey, how are you? Uh, fine. I, I, I planted those roses by the entrance to the farm. Don't they look nice? He points to a row of splendid red roses. Oh, they're beautiful. I, I'm not too bad when it comes to things like gardening. I, I never knew that. I didn't realize you were so talented. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just going to sniff them. I approach the roses and kneel beside them to smell their fragrance. They smell nice, don't they? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't smell a thing. What? He kneels beside me to smell for himself. I turn quickly and give him a kiss on the cheek. Oh! I can smell the perfume just fine. You... you tricked me. Sure did. I spin around, giggling happily. I'm still not sure why I did that, but seeing his reaction really made my heart race. Okay, that's above 40, which is probably good enough. So then, Charisma, which means job as a dancer. Which means I'm probably going to encounter what's her name. You know, I think this is the only one of these that I've seen all three times. <clears throat> I've enrolled in the dancing school here in Triburg, and hopes to become a better dancer. 
stepping into the school was like stepping into another world. Incense, slow lighting, and plush cushions everywhere. It's actually very romantic. The mood here is so sensual. I've never seen a more intoxicating creature. A group of people huddling a beaded doorway, blocking the view of what must have been a dance performance. Exotic music flows out of the room, drawing me near. She's the head dance teacher here. I try to catch a glimpse of who they're talking about. She teaches classes? Perhaps I should enroll myself. She only flirts with people who have something she wants, so save your breath. What did the dancer mean by that? She's only a temporary teacher anyway. Yeah, well, she can teach me any day. Applause roared from the room, and everyone piled out of it. Oh, this, this is actually my classroom. I walk into the room after everyone else leaves. It's completely empty. Where's my teacher? Well, I need to get dressed into my dancing outfit, so I walk over to the dressing screen in the corner of the room. I duck behind it and change my clothes. Is that your dancing outfit? <laughs> That'll never do. I shriek and turn around to see a demon girl dressed like a gypsy dancer. Has she been here the whole time? I was more worried about the front of the screen than the back. Who are you? My name's Reed, darling. I'm your dance instructor. Weren't you here for the performance? Oh, so this is my intoxicating teacher. Well, I can certainly see why she's so popular. Isn't she too young to be the head instructor here? They're usually mature women with plenty of experience under their belt. No, I, I just showed up. Oh, you can borrow one of my outfits. What? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I'm wearing a dancing outfit similar to hers, just not so small or, or short, or with as many shiny things attached to it. Okay, so our outfits are rather different. Oh, you'll never turn heads with that. It doesn't showcase your, um, assets. Politely refuse. No, I'm, I'm very happy with my outfit, thank you. She looks offended for a moment. You're the one who joined my class, if you'd forgotten. Suit yourself. She leaves the dressing area, and I look at myself in the mirror. There's nothing wrong with my outfit, right? Sure, I don't show off as much skin as her, but at least I have my morals. The dance lesson was just as loose and weird as I thought it would be. All her dance moves are too suggestive for my tastes. Maybe I should get another teacher. <laughs> That's a very weird uh, dancing gear, but okay. Dang it. Gotta pay my bloody taxes. 43%. Gotta say, the tax is being really high this, this sort of run through. Excellent. That one okay. Good boost to charisma. Age 21. It's just me or does she seem to have a uh, birthday in early January? Just because I think her age does tend to tick over at the beginning of the year. I mean, to be fair, my birthday is early January. So, you know, it's entirely possible, but... Uh, I do like the gloves, though, on that outfit. So uh, go shopping for a day. Boost my social a bit. And then let's take a couple of weeks just at home. Boost everything pretty well. Dang it. Yeah, still got point in charisma. I'm losing a bunch of points in stamina, unfortunately, but that's okay. Hey, perfect. Alright, so if I go back to... what is it that boosts stamina? It's the farm job. Okay, so that's my stamina back up above 40. Now I just need to boost my concentration a lot. So... God. Job done. Gotta pay the tax. 44%, bloody hell. Random encounter. How's your watch going? Oh, hi. Everything's fine. Although you did give me a bit of a fright turning up like that. I didn't mean to. My name is Ramus. I am the captain of the Imperial Guards. It's an honor to know you. I I'm Madeline. How can I help you? You don't need to be so formal. What are you doing here in the first place? From the look in his face, I assume he didn't expect a girl like me to be a guard. Answer humbly. I'm trying to do my best, sir. 
Stop calling me sir. My name is Ramus. Sorry sir, dead. Ramus. A beautiful girl like you should not be alone here, keeping a cemetery watchman company. Thank you, you're very kind. He blushes. Probably doesn't meet many girls like me. However, if you are here, you probably need this job. Yeah, that's, that's right, I wouldn't be here otherwise. If you need help, don't hesitate to contact me. I come here almost every day. Oh, thank you so much. Goodbye. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's relax and go shopping for a week. Excellent. That's given me a really good boost to my social. Repeat my previous job. Yeah, so if I can keep this up long enough and avoid any major skill drops, everything will be about 40, which is good. Aha, the goddess. <clears throat> Hello, Madeline. What? Who are you? I am Shurji, the goddess of your race. I have been following your progress here in Triburg. And you impressed me. Your will and determination deserve a chance of living a better life. Really? I will ask you to get a title, and if you manage to get it before you are 30, I will bless you and give you one free wish. Oh, th thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. Indeed. Now listen carefully. I want you to obtain the title of Wizard. And how can I acquire that title? Well, obviously, you need to have a 99 skill in magic, but also a skill of 75 in research. Now, I know it won't be easy, but try to make it. Thank you. I won't disappoint you. Bless you. The goddess disappears quickly as she came, but now I have a new goal in my life. Excellent, we have our goal, people. That actually seems like a reasonable point to me to end this particular video and say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.